okay, we're going to look at our logins and passwords. We're going to be using a lot of different platforms in here uh, this semester. So you're going to need to know your logins without uh, having to reset everything every time. So I'm going to give you a place to put your login information and go find it. So it'll always be here when you need it. So go in here and open up your copy of the Google Sheets that I gave you. And you'll see that this column right here lists your apps or your website and they're linked so when you're ready to use it if you just want to go oh I got to go to Edpuzzle you go here and you can click on that Edpuzzle link it takes you straight to that website okay um, this first one is EverFi so you're gonna have to create a an account for EverFi and you're going to create the account with this information so you need to start out by taking your first name dot last name dot sms and typing it in here that will be your username all of your usernames go in this column okay and then your password needs to be set up in this column so for everfy your password needs to look like this the first letter of your first name the first three letters of your last name and then your lunch number so for you you would say your first name right here dot last name dot sms and then you come over here and you're going to do the first letter of your first name, which minus J, first three letters of your last name, which minus STE, and then your lunch number. Okay, so when I give you a join code, you'll be able to join that. Uh, do not set up your account yet, because I will do another video showing you how to set up your EverFi account. But go ahead and write down what your username and password is for that account. Then I want you to go into your other account. Um, your other links right here and I want you to go ahead and set up your username and password for each one of these that we will be using. Make sure you are using your school email address which for a lot of times would be here and a lot of these accounts you can actually click sign up or register with your Gmail account. Um, down here you're going to go to the uh, app store and the extension store and the play store and you're going to add these. Okay, if you need a login for these, make sure you put your login information here. And over here, the same thing. You're going to need to set these up. Um, when you get down here to blogger.com, you're going to need to make sure that your settings are open. Because when you go to uh, sign in, you'll sign in with your Google account. And sometimes it's not going to let you in. So you'll need to come over here and open up your site settings to allow the flash and then you guys know how to do that where you go back to the blogger again you have to hit the back button and then you end up having to reload that so that it will then load so go ahead and do that today and once you have finished and you have all of your websites uh, found you've got usernames and passwords for everything that you're going to need to access then hit and turn in on Google Classrooms.